Men's basketball team has a 22 day gap from its last conference game and its next conference game to help fill that space over the holidays. Some Rodgers are playing a former conference foe tonight. Valley City State is in town for a doubleheader. Second half of this game, VCSU's Ladarius Stanfield absorbing some contact and scoring in the lane. He had 10 points tonight. Vikings are down by one. You Mary then went on a little bit of a run. Alex Mattis hits half of his total of six right there as the Marauders are up by seven. It's Cleveland Bedgood. He had tied for team high scoring honors tonight. Here's three of his 18. Valley City trims the lead to three with about two and a half to go. But from that point, you Mary took charge as Brock Hefner had a game high 36 points as the home team wins it by the final of 81 to 74. Game two tonight is the women's contest and Valley City started slow, really slow. And you Mary built a big lead. Megan Zander maneuvering in the low post scoring two. She had a game high 20. The middle was available and the Marauders kept going there. Here's Mo Hakim scoring. She's fouled and that the lead continues to grow. It's an eight point night for Mo this evening. Buckets just tough to come by for the Vikings. There's Bowman's Ellie Powell getting one though. Valley City's down by 20. Mariah McKeever will line up and knock down three more for the Marauders. She had 15 as Umary wins it, 84 to 45. High school boys basketball this evening in a battle of the minors. It goes to Beulah this, uh, this evening, and it was Glenall and Hebron beating Beach by 33. Barnes County North nine up at the Imperials. Central McLean drops Flasher 73 to 48. Washburn of Baker's Dozen over Kidder County. Sargent County almost doubles up South Border. Alexander beats South Hart by 23. And Chase Christensen, the ninth grader for uh, Richard and Taylor, had 20 of his team's 61 in a two-point victory. Tim Polisek was handed a Bison jersey with number 32 on it today. He's the 32nd head football coach in NDSU history. Polisek started coaching college football in 2003. He has spent 10 years of his life already at North Dakota State. Tim worked the last seven seasons coaching at Iowa and Wyoming, but Fargo is a homecoming for the Wisconsin native. I get to coach where I met my wife. Not a lot of guys get to say that. Um, this place, the players that I've coached uh, mean so much to me. I'm really happy that everybody, the staff is here. Um, looking forward to moving this thing forward into, you know, what's become a new era with the transfer portal and NIL and those things are at the forefront. Anytime there's a coaching transition, there is a lot that has to happen in a short amount of time. And Division I football signing day is on Wednesday. He has to try and keep the athletes already on the Bison roster, and Polisek has to get his assistant coaching staff figured out, just to name a few. Well, they have not played a game yet, but it's already being referred to as a rivalry. The Big Sticks are joining the Larks as members of the Northwoods League next summer. Well, today the schedule was announced, and a quick check shows the summer league teams in Bismarck and Dickens.